Okay, let's take a look here at this mini project to create some kind of robot looking face. And the job you have is to utilize these uh, blocks or commands and we have certain criteria to use. The instructions up here are a little different from what I asked you to do. So what I'm gonna do, um, and you can certainly look at this one, I added kind of some extra things in this one Okay, and you can kind of see the eyes and the mouth change shape there a little bit. But what I'll do is I'll demo one starting completely from scratch. Okay, so let me go here and get this one started from scratch. First thing you should do is get a background color. So I'm just going to drag that out there. And I said, please choose something other than white. So if you want to just pick something, I'm going to pick something kind of light colored. Um, I'll just say pink. All right. I think that's okay. There we go. All right. Now we need a main shape for the robot. Okay. So you can use a circular shape. That'd be an ellipse. You could use a boxy rectangle or square shape. Okay. Or you can use a regular polygon. I'm going to use that one just cause it looks kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to change these two numbers. The X and Y location is smack dab in the center. Um, this number five is how many sides it is. And then the 50 is kind of how big it gets. Let's see what it looks like right now. Kind of tiny. So I'm going to take this last number and whoop it up here. Maybe make it like, we'll try 200 and see what happens. Okay, that's much better. And um, I think I'm going to shift it down a little bit. That is this second number, which is Y. So I'm going to maybe try 225. That's a little better. Okay. Now, I also want this a different color. Rather, The default is this boring gray. So I'm going to grab fill color and put that in here. Okay, now it's yellow. Okay, cool. You can pick whatever you want and put that in there. Next, we need... Um, I'm going to put some facial features on here. So specifically um, some eyes, which are going to be round. So I'm going to use this ellipse command. My first eye, I'm going to position about right here. Now you'll notice that when you hover your cursor over there, you can look below the reset button and you see an X and a Y number. I see 136, 144. So that's what I'm going to put in here. Okay. Now, if I do this right now, it's keeping yellow and then the width and the height are ginormous. So I'm going to shrink this down to be 50, 50. I want a color in there. So I'm going to pick a different color. Notice you have to put the color before the ellipse command. And let's make these green or something, okay? Sweet, I'm gonna add another eyeball. So I'm going to grab another ellipse. This time I'm gonna have the other eye over here somewhere. That X value is 266. I'm gonna keep the same Y value, 144, and then 50-50 for now, okay? Okay, I've got two eyes. So. I've got my background color that is not white. I've got two ellipses now. We need to incorporate two rectangles in here somehow, some way. And so what I'm going to do is build some antenna with a little rectangle on the end of it. Okay. We need to make two lines anyway. So I'm going to start with my first line. Let's see. I have to pick the two points where it starts and where it stops. So I'm going to go from this point, which is 88106. 88106. And I'm going to have it end right here at like 5050, I think. Let's see what it looks like for an antenna. Cool. I kind of want it to be a little thicker. Um, and maybe a different color. So there's a different way we handle lines. Lines aren't 
changed, um, they don't change our color with a fill command. We have to use these stroke commands. And you have to have one of these stroke things in your um, checklist of items. So I'm going to put before the line, I'll make it blue and I'm going to make it a little thicker. So I'm going to grab stroke weight and make it like a five. Okay, so I've added stroke blue, stroke weight, and now you should see that antenna change color. Cool. All right, now I'm going to have another antenna come out over here because you're supposed to have two lines, two ellipses, two rectangles, and then we've got to incorporate something with stroke, which I'm doing right now, um, a couple different colors. We're doing that. Um, we have to have a variable and a random number. I'll do that in a little bit. And then either an arc or a point, and I'll show you what those look like. So I'm going to get my other antenna over here. That is going to be, I'm looking at under the reset button, 302. And I'm going to use that 106 again. So I'm going to grab a line. I'm going to say 302 and 106. That'll be at kind of the same level now. Boom. And then I'm going to have it end over here. And I'm going to use instead of 50 50 this this will be over here at about 350 50. turn that you can play around with those numbers but at least that looks a little balanced okay close if you want to fiddle around to try and make it more perfect go right ahead i'm not going to be that picky okay now i need two little rectangles that i'm going to put like coming out of my antenna here okay so rectangles get drawn from their upper left corner and then they go out from there. So first get a rectangle Oops, here. I'm going to have it start where this one left off, which was the point 88106. No, the ending point. Apologize. That should be 50-50. Ta-da. Okay. So I'm going to have a draw a teeny tiny rectangle. I don't want it very wide. This next number is width pixel wise. So I'm just going to do like maybe 40. Okay. And then definitely not very tall. I'm going to do like 10. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, cool. It kind of has a blue outline and it's green. Okay. I kind of like that because the stroke weight is the outline of stuff. And that's why, since we put it here for the antenna, it's also outlining the rectangle. Sweet. Let's go and do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw a little rectangle, but this time I think I'm going to have it. Well, I'll have it start in the same, the same spot like this one did 35050 line, not line rectangle. Sorry, sorry. Rectangle. 350, 50. Okay. Again, 40 and 10 are the width and the height. And let's see what that looks like. Cool. Do I want to shift it back a little bit? I might do that. So to shift it so it doesn't start here, I'm going to have it move back a little bit. I need to make my X number smaller. That's the 350 number. Let's see if I said 325 instead. Oh, that's kind of centered. I almost kind of like that better. Okay. I might even make that more like 320. Let's see if that, I like that. I'm going to doctor up this other antenna thing here. So rather than start at 50, 50, I'm going to have it start at like 2050. Let's see what that does. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> um, let's make it like 40. Sometimes you have to play with this a little bit. Mm, yeah, I suppose I could do like 35. Let's see if it's a little more centered. Sweet. Okay, going through my checklist. 
background color, yes. Two rectangles, yes. Two ellipses, yes. Two lines, yes. Then we have things about um, the, uh, a property involving stroke. We've got that. We've got a couple different colors, yes. Then we need some kind of no fill. So that means I'm going to have some kind of shape that I'm not going to fill in with the color. And here's what I'm going to have, have do on here. So it'll make like a mouth shape. I'm going to grab arc. And if you want to do this one, this one, do exactly what I'm doing. Okay. No fill and then arc. This um, X and Y value is going to be kind of centered in here. So the X value will be 200 because that's the middle of the screen. And I'm going to do it a little bit lower than the vertical. Okay, so I'm going to go 200, go about 250. Okay, now if I drew it right now, these next two numbers are 800. It's going to be ginormous, so I'm not going to do that. Um, let's make this, I think about 100 and maybe 50. This is going to make just the smiley part of the arc shape. And then instead of 0 to 90, make it 0 to 180. Let's see what it looks like. There it is. Okay. Cool. Now, honestly, the only other piece um, of criteria that you need, okay, is a variable. What we're going to do grab this variable, put it at the top. Okay. <clears throat> we need a variable with a random number. Put the random number after the equal sign here. What I'm going to do is make my eyes randomly switch sizes um, every time you run the program. So I'm going to name my variable I, E-Y-E. Then to utilize it, I'm going to go to my two ellipses for my eyes, where I have a width of 50 and a height of 50. And instead of having a number, I'm going to change it to be my new variable called I. And what's going to happen now, every time I run the program, it's going to change size. In fact, yikes, instead of one to 10, I'm going to make it 10 to 50. And now watch every time you run it, those eyes change size. Okay. Cool. Cool. That will get you to utilize everything you need in your program. In fact, I'm going to quick just bring up our uh, checklist or our rubric for it so that you can see what you need. And it was back here. So let me get one up so you can see it. Do 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 okay i'm gonna screenshot this and then bring it on over boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. there's the first part i'm gonna switch to something where i can get some visuals here for this and then get down to the rest of it side of the way. I've got the no fill part. Here we go. Okay. So here's the checklist. When you get done, go through all of this and see if you have everything. Do you have a background color? It's the first thing. Okay. And it's not white. Sorry, not white. Do you have two rectangle blocks? Okay. Do you have two ellipses? Do you have two lines? Sweet. Then I said, have you programmed an arc or a point? In this demo, I used an arc. Cool. Do you have two or more colors where you're filling in um, your shapes or uh, your other objects? Okay. And we've got that. Do you have something that you didn't fill in? Ooh, did I do that? Better go check quick. Did I? Oh, yes, for the arc, for the smiley face. 
that utilized the no fill right there. Okay. Stroke. So that was our antenna. We used that there. We used both color and a weight to make it thicker. And we used variable and random number. If you have all of those things, just like I built in this one, you'll get 100%. Good luck. Be creative. Feel free to use some other colors, add other things on here, and have some fun creating your robot face.